what's up everybody welcome back to exotic as logic again and finally after long long time saturn has moved back into the sign of sagittarius in the nakshatra of mula starting yesterday and from now a new time period of sagittarius will begin in this world because saturn is one of the most important planets when it comes to transits yes if you're new to the channel then subscribe to it below and if you like this video click the thumbs up and watch my other videos on saturn's transit jupiter's transit rahu ketu's transit and the another video which i have made on jupiter saturn double transit you will find that in my channel in another playlist please go and watch them otherwise you will not understand what's going on in this video right or maybe you still understand therefore if you like this video share it with others who are interested in knowing with astrology of regards to how that will affect them yes and if you want a personal consultation from me then my email id is there in the comments also my whatsapp number is there you can send me a message or give me a call and then we will go forward with the personal consultation all right saturn transit into sagittarius well i will not make this a very long video because i have already made transit videos on saturn please watch that and in this i will just hover around the surface by telling what is mula nakshatra because the first 13.20 degrees of sagittarius comes under the nakshatra of mula yes mula nakshatra mula means as in sanskrit they say mool tattva mool tattva mula means the roots the grassroots there you go grassroots the origin of everything mula nakshatra is the origin of everything now if you go to astronomy what do you find where is the mula nakshatra i will not delve too much into astronomy otherwise that will confuse people but every Uh, the every nakshatra has a specific part in in the universe where we see that through astronomy and if you go to the astronomy of mula nakshatra what mula nakshatra is where it is exactly in the universe it is actually the galactic center yeah. galactic center is the place where which allows higher communication from the other planets and other planetary systems from the higher cosmic dimensions of the universe to penetrate this universe which means to penetrate us it is like the junction point where the higher dimensional energies can interlink themselves with us and we can interlink with them <laughs> therefore if somebody has prominent planets in mula nakshatra like especially moon sun or the ascendant then you will always find that these people are always wanting to connect to their roots but at the same time they will want to know what is there in the scriptures because you may be a materialistic person you may be married with two kids you may be a scientist or you may be an astrologer but if you want to go deep into the roots of the universe you have to go to the pages of the scriptures otherwise you will not find it because science and technology and even astrology and astronomy to some extent they can only help you in knowing how the mechanism of this universe works basically what astrology is astrology is a way to know the mechanism of the universe right of how the universe uh, how the law of karma is functioning where it is going through which planet how which planet is getting affected where why <laughs> therefore it is one of the mechanisms by which you understand the functioning of the universe yes the law of karma especially and similarly we have astronomy which uh, entitles lot of scientific details of positions of things or of the planets of the nakshatras of different uh, different other areas uh on a physical physical level where are they physically existing how is the structure of their 
you know, of, of these entities which they are affecting us yes for example the planets and unfortunately we have not been able to decipher ways by to know how these uh, dignitaries the planetary influences affect us because science has not been able to do that because it it, it is on a uh, it is on a different level uh, on a subtle realm actually it is not on the mundane mundane realm for example uh, it is next to impossible to understand how the motion of planets can affect us as an individual because the planets are known as grahas in astrology yes and the grahas they are the ones who put grahan grahan means one who catches you that is the meaning of the word grahan catches you does not mean it uh, catches you physically it simply means that it will try to influence your beliefs your mind that is why moon is very important in astrology and that is why transits are also studied from the moon traditionally so that you understand how the mind is responding to them from the lagna transits will give you the nature of how physically the things are manifesting but from the moon you will know how your mind how you are internally gravitating towards those things otherwise there can be a lot of confusion from where should i see transits well that is a separate issue but the point which i am trying to make here is it is not possible perhaps to delineate the way how the motion of the planets affect us on a scientific level uh, if you try uh, to understand on a mundane sense perhaps it will never be possible to decipher how how does the change of a planet called saturn that which is so far will affect us yes it is very difficult to know that of course by the scriptures we can know that they will affect us uh, mentally first and then that that will provoke us and we will uh, depending on the karma associated with the planet depending on that we will behave like that but how does it manifest on a physical realm does they do they throw some light or some rays by which our mind is like oh my god <laughs> oh <laughs> or how does it happen that 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 has not been discovered yet because the concept of graha itself is very subtle to know what graha is itself that is itself a very difficult matter because many people ask this question that okay this is called chandra chandra is moon but is it the one which we see is it that moon or what is the difference between chandra as a person and chandra loka chandra loka is a place one of the heavenly realms where there are heavenly enjoyments and heavenly delights and people live for a long 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 time especially for 60000 years so these are questions which are very difficult to answer because they are functioning on a different dimension there you see so if you want to know about the different dimensions and how this universe is functioning which is one of the primary traits of mula nakshatra yes because mula nakshatra represents the roots root of everything what is the root of everything that is god that is why mula nakshatra comes under the sign of sagittarius the divine satvik sign of sagittarius which is the original ninth house of the zodiac belt it is not the 10th house it is not the 7th house it is the 9th house of the zodiac belt <coughs> and here the astronomy says that it is the galactic center where lot of higher dimensional higher vibrational energies come that means if somebody has prominent planets in the nakshatra of mula especially planets like moon it is fabulous which simply means that the person is very 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 receptive for spiritual knowledge it is mind blowing even if sun is there and if the 10th house has link with mula nakshatra for example then people can pursue careers in domain of astrology in domain of spiritual sciences because 10th house deals with your primary karma then that means that if 10th lord is placed in mula nakshatra or there are planets in your 10th house where mula nakshatra is falling 
then what does it mean that means you are a pisces ascendant there you see pisces ascendants the luckiest people on earth <laughs> because for pisces mula nakshatra comes in the 10th house sign of sagittarius number 9 is in your 10th house so that means whenever you talk of the sign of pisces if you have planets in the 10th house it is highly likely that they may be in the nakshatra of mula within sagittarius or in the purva shada or in uttara shada that's a separate topic but these people are very fortunate if you want to pursue a career in domain of astrology or spiritual upliftment or give, giving spiritual knowledge to others this pisces ascendants have the best opportunity and even if you are a different ascendant for example if you are a libra ascendant and you are 10th house is ruled by moon now moon if it is sitting in third house in sagittarius in mula nakshatra suppose in 10 degrees this is also a fabulous placement this is also a mind blowing placement for uh, spiritual encounters because here moon is not only your mind it is also your 10th lord so this is another great placement to have you see or if the lagna lord venus itself is placed in the third house in mula nakshatra in sagittarius mind blowing placements fabulous too good can't be better than this therefore we need to understand that mula nakshatra has the highest level of receptivity because it is that galactic center where everything culminates to ultimately from it is like that center as you say it is the grass root that is why these people also love to walk on grass yes they love to do that they 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 love to walk bare barefoot because barefoot means you are connected to the roots there is nothing in between you and the grass they are directly connected without your shoes or without your chappal or without your boots or whatever you call it therefore this is a fabulous nakshatra to have planets in and time and again it has been seen that people who have prominent planets here they have been working to uproot things from the grass level yes uproot things from the grassroots for example if somebody has this nakshatra connected very strongly to with the lagna lord or with the 10th lord then it has been seen that they try to change systems in the society which are creating blockages from hundreds and thousands of years they try to uproot the system from the roots if i am not wrong uh, martin luther king has a prominent placement i think his 10th lord or some prominent planet which he has this i heard long back that he has uh, one of the very prominent placements and that's what he did he tried to uproot the things and he wrecked havoc in the society and then now you see Martin Luther King is always known. So there you go. This nakshatra is very fertile. It is perhaps the best, one of the best, or perhaps the best to have for spiritual upliftment, for spiritual uh, contemplation. Because Mula also represents the roots. So these people also are very good in spiritual contemplation. Spiritual contemplation means not just reading the scriptures, not just. meeting sadhus not just going to the temple in janmashtami or not just if suppose this person is a muslim this person will not just go to the masjid when there is eid or uh, this person if he is a muslim then he will only not go to the church when there is uh, the celebration of christmas but these people after going they will read the philosophy they will read and they will interact with the different uh, holy people and then they will sit down and they will meditate and then they will think what is this where is god does god exist if he exists why can't i see him <laughs> they are meditating and they are thinking how can i connect with him what's the best way which is the best religion or is there a best religion at all or or uh, all the religions the same the pathway is the same the goal is the same what is it if there is one god then why so many religions my god things will go haywire inside their mind <laughs> and they will find newer and newer ways to connect with the supreme and they are not at all dogmatic i have seen 
if a person has prominent planets there and if they are good planets especially like jupiter is fabulous it's mind blowing to have jupiter there so then jupiter is what your spirituality first of all if jupiter is in mula it will be in the sign of sagittarius which is its own sign its mul trigon sign which is mind blowing of course but now jupiter is the natural karaka for spirituality so whenever you delve in into spiritual topics you go very deep you do not like to see things which are very short you do not like to go for short encounters you are not that kind of a person who goes to the temple once in a month or once in a blue moon or once in a full moon <laughs> or once in a new moon or you may not be necessarily going to the temple always but you may even go once in a month but whenever you go you will you, you will go to the person and you will uh, the uh, pujari or the pandit or the brahmin you will go and ask him sir sir can you tell me i have this question the where, where, where god is uh, what does he do how does he look like <laughs> how can i connect with him does he listen to me when i pray so these people have these uh, higher inquisitive this kind of a uh, higher frequency which they need to use in spirituality otherwise what i have seen is i personally know people who are having these uh, prominent planets in mula and sometimes it is very difficult for the world to understand them because they are functioning at the range of the galactic center which is the junction of higher frequency axis it is a it is perhaps the mind blowing uh, the most mind blowing place to have any planet for spirituality not for other reasons <laughs> so therefore what i have seen in my experiences these people can Uh, have difficulties in dealing with normal people sometimes difficulty doesn't mean they have ego tussle or clash but difficulty simply means that the way they think people may not be able to understand why, why is the person thinking like this for example they may take drastic decisions sometimes for example they may decide okay i will not eat meat from tomorrow suddenly they may decide the people cannot understand okay what's the problem man you can eat what what is the big deal just chill gradually you should give up don't just do this uh, just abruptly don't don't just do this suddenly but no these people are like galactic center something comes and then they will be like bang i am on i am into it so it is sometimes difficult for other people to understand their actions and it is also difficult for them to explain because there are these are these high frequency things which you cannot explain and they cannot understand even if you explain they cannot understand and the level of questions which they ask they will be the best questions i have seen mind blowing questions they will ask but the predicament is other people will sometimes not be able to appreciate their questions or they may, they, they, they they may say that oh this person is asking too many questions <laughs> this often happens with people who have prominent planets in mula they, they 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 get chastised by others why are you asking so many questions too many questions you are asking so that is why you should people with prominent planets in mula they should not waste time and energy and the blessings of god which they have by indulging too much into mundane societies because let me tell you if you go too much into mundane societies you will feel left out should i repeat you will feel left out because you are always thinking of god and then suddenly you will realize suppose you go to a pub you go to a party you will realize why are these people just wasting time i mean what is the sense of dancing in in some song for 3 hours when at the end of the day you were not getting anything out of it right you were just wasting your money so you will feel left out i have seen mula nakshatra people they always tell me that somehow i feel i don't fit into this place no you are not wrong you are absolutely correct because the vibration which is there inside you this is not of this realm you are always wanting to connect to the higher realm because galactic center will not let you stay here every moment higher frequencies are coming from the higher planetary systems from the different dimensions of the universe 
and they are wanting to connect to you so let these energies connect to you do not postpone do not think that there is some problem with you mula nakshatra people i am telling you there are no problems <laughs> the only problems that you see which others tell that you have is not because of you it is because of their own problems because they cannot they are not at the level which you are because you will not do things which you find that there is no sense in doing you will not do all those things because those activities may not be helping you in your grassroots for example these people even if they go into some psychological depression they will uh, the, the only thing which can take them out is a spiritual guidance not just uh, going to some psychiatrist or some psychologist and just some talking they say no, just, just just talk if you have depression that will not help them they if they are facing depression then they have to go into the scriptures and they have to read okay why am i depressed what who where god is who he is how does he look like what what are his activities how can i connect to him because at the ultimate level the soul is connected to god that is what is said in the bhagavad gita that mama vamsha jiva loke jiva bhuta sanatana that lord krishna says in the gita that every living entity is my part and parcel should i repeat every living entity is my part and parcel so which basically means that we are all a part of god we are all a part of god and then these mula nakshatra people if they do not find that connection which connects them to this reality this shloka is very important for them if they do not find anything in this world which connects them to this shloka which means which reinstantiates their connection with the supreme authority which is god they will not find happiness there i am telling you you will be the most miserable person if you do not take to spirituality because that is the thing which will give you the highest level of fulfillment nothing of this world that doesn't mean you go to the forest of course there are no forest forest today but it simply means that people who have prominent planets in mula nakshatra they must they must work on developing spiritual wisdom and i'm telling you you don't know what you have you just try you just start and it will be like zoop <laughs> because you are already there it is just a matter of stepping in the galactic center is already there where you can just move to the higher realms fabulous for kundalini awakening fabulous for mantra fabulous for meditation fabulous for discussing of the scriptures fabulous and then now what is happening the planet of duty structure commitment and responsibility saturn itself is moving into the sign of sagittarius in the mula nakshatra it will be there for 7 8 9 10 months and that means now our actions our karma will be very much focused towards the roots and this is the time depending on whichever house saturn is ruling for example if saturn is your lagna lord which means you are either a aquarius ascendant or you are a capricorn ascendant then saturn now because it is transiting mula nakshatra what it will do is because it is the lagna lord which means it is you <laughs> that's why it will uproot some very deep rooted issue which we are facing from last 3 years because scorpio is the sign of psychological baggage scorpio is the sign of karma karmic backlog suffering because it represents the the scorpion which stings you with the poison so there there, there can be situations where you are just hovering around the surface without knowing much of what is going on actually in this world and i am not telling this for capricorn ascendants or aquarius i am telling this for everybody but especially for these two groups of people now if there was something that you were working 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 or doing 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 which was not giving you result which was not giving you fulfillment which was not giving you the due which you were expecting then you will just pull it and you will just throw it because that's what mula nakshatra is the roots you pull out the roots and you just boom throw it for example if you are 
<coughs> working on a startup and it's not happening and you were like maybe it will work because scorpio is that turbulent water sign which <coughs> doesn't let you see should i stop it or should i not stop it so now if you are if you were opening a startup and now if things are great you will be like yes now i will go to the roots i will form my company from the beginning again beginning doesn't mean you change the company's name but you will be focusing on developing the organization from scratch <coughs> and giving the roots its due importance which means you will try to structure things you will try to make everything fall into place you will try to organize everything because without proper functioning of the roots no organization can sustain if suppose you are a libra ascendant then your fourth house and fifth house is ruled by saturn and now if saturn for a libra ascendant is transiting in your third house in the nakshatra of mula then what will happen is you will try to communicate of things that you know because fourth house and fifth house both are the houses of knowledge and education yes and third house is the house of communication now you will be very much focused towards spreading the knowledge of what actually will connect you to the roots and if you are facing uh, challenges in area of education libra ascendants then this is the time saturn will uproot it <laughs> and you will either finish it or you will let go of the things either you will ditch the project or you will complete the project fifth house is the house of education right and aquarius is the moon trigon sign so for libra people saturn will give more results of the fifth house than the fourth house similarly for taurus ascendants if saturn is um, if you are a taurus ascendant then saturn rules the ninth house and the 10th house these two powerful houses is ruled by saturn and then when saturn is transiting into mula then something related to your career and your spirituality suppose now you are doing some spiritual practice and you are just hovering around the surface okay maybe this will work that will work now you'll be like no bang on i have to see what is going to work now because the ninth lord is going into mula so anything related to the ninth house you will have the effects of mula nakshatra you will try you will sit and you will be like no i need to get my basics clear and now is a fabulous time to for anybody in this world irrespective of whichever your ascendant is irrespective of whichever sign your moon or sun or lagna lord is placed irrespective of all this now is perhaps i'm telling you it is perhaps the best time to start some new spiritual practice you cannot get a better time in the entire 30 years then when saturn is in mula because saturn is the karma dipati it is the significator of the 10th house and the 11th house so that means now we can direct our karmas which is naturally signified by saturn any karma primary karma in our life towards the mula nakshatra which is what gaining knowledge from the scriptures about how to connect to god so this is the most fabulous time to start some new spiritual practice to go and meet holy people to go to the church to go to the mosque to go to the temple and not just go remember it's not just a lip service that okay yes i have given attendance in the temple today <laughs> but go and read the scriptures go and meet the holy people whenever you go to temple always go and question the pujari question doesn't mean you confront him or you bash you bash on him or you blast on him no just go and ask him that okay you are doing this worship of ganesh why are you uh, what 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 this worship is about how does ganesh uh, react to this or why why only this worship why it is uh, not some other worship go and question always question mula nakshatra people will always question the roots yes and that's fabulous do not think that you are doubting the pujari by asking questions and be humble with humility you ask don't just go and say okay what is this what you are doing uh, this is all nonsense i know this is all waste of time don't don't say like that go and ask that uh, my dear sir uh, can you please explain me the procedure for this otherwise if you are just like a lip service person going to the temple all the time it will not benefit you spiritually maybe you can get some material benefits if god listens to you <laughs> 
he may give you a good wife or a good husband or a beautiful car or home but he will not give himself to you should i repeat god will not give himself to you so so now is the time that we want to go to god and we ask okay material things are fine but what about spirituality what about my connection to you <laughs> because people will only use god to fulfill their connections with other things right people who have undergone a breakup they are praying to god oh my god please give my ex girlfriend ex boyfriend back people who have lost their jobs they are praying please give me job but when will the day come when we will pray to god please give me yourself that is what was the difference between arjuna and duryodhana as i made in the video earlier duryodhana's biggest blunders arjuna wanted krishna he did not want his resources duryodhana wanted his resources krishna's resources he did not want krishna and there you go you know who was victorious in the kurukshetra war it is the pandavas it is arjuna himself who was victorious so now is the time that we go and ask god for strengthening our connection to him because that is what all is mula nakshatra about because mama evam sho jiva loke jiva bhuta sanatana sanatana means eternally the living entity is a part and parcel of us of god yes and that is why we should try to reinstantiate our connection with the divine all right that is it from my side if you have any questions queries or comments on the transit of saturn then please let me know in the comment section and this is a fabulous time and it will be there in sagittarius for two years and in mula nakshatra for a long time also within this two years that is what i wanted to say that please utilize this time for our spiritual pursuits and spiritual endeavors okay wish you good luck with the transit of saturn in the nakshatra of mula and i hope that you will use this powerful time in every field of your life either in your career to go deep into the roots or within your spiritual practices or if saturn is your seventh lord for a leo or cancer you can use this to go into depths of your relationship and figure out why relationship is not working what should be done go to the grassroots uproot everything and throw it and make the soil very fertile yes there you go if you are new to the channel subscribe to it and if you like this video then click the thumbs up and share it with other people until next time when saturn transits into mula nakshatra after 30 years my god we'll all be old that time many of us may not be surviving till then so this is the only time perhaps in the life of some people that saturn will transit to mula there you go until next time bye bye see you